my name is Carmen and welcome to my very first YouTube video. <sighs> Fireworks. Uh, today is just going to be a very easy get ready with me style video where I talk through how I get this orange monochromatic look. So if you clicked here, please consider staying. <laughs> it would mean a lot to me and I hope you enjoy. Today, I am going to be filming my very first ever YouTube video. Um, man, it's been six years since I first wanted to start something on YouTube. Um, I've always thought about it in high school and then in uni. And I always thought to myself, like, there are so many other beautiful, competent, creative people on YouTube. I feel like there's no space for someone like me but I mean now that everyone's in quarantine and isolation we've got a lot of time on our hands so I thought why not if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but if it does work out it can make a great side hustle or it can make a great main hustle now if I'm not looking directly at the camera it's because I'm looking at my viewfinder to make sure that I still look okay in the frame so I think that's something I've got to get used to but today I thought I would just do a very easy like get ready with me kind of video where I'm just sitting and talking just to try and get into sitting down talking to myself talking to a camera so um, today I am actually going to go out to see my friends in a little bit so thought I put on some makeup because usually I don't when I'm working from home um, I've prepped my skin with my usual skincare routine I'm just going to put a little bit of sunscreen on and recently I bought this um, ultraviolet sunscreen serum this is quite runny and it's quite lightweight so that's what I like about this product it does have a fragrance not my favorite it kind of reminds me of like a older lady perfume mixed with sunscreen. So I'm just going to apply that all over my neck as well. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start by priming my face with the Huda Beauty um, Pre Makeup Base. It's got quite a sticky consistency, which some people don't like, some people do like. I'm neutral maybe towards the not liking part i prefer my primers to be slippy but this does help the foundation hold a lot better okay next i'm going to be applying foundation today i will be using my dior um, backstage face and body foundation in the shade 1w I'm just going to shake this up a little bit and pop it on my tray Let me just get my spatula. So usually I use this tray because I don't like getting makeup on my hand, my fingers, and then in my nails. I just find that it's really difficult to get rid of. Also, like when you start touching things and then foundation gets on it, that's also really difficult to get rid of. So I just tend to avoid try to avoid doing that as much as possible so usually i'll have my tray handy when i am doing my face makeup i'm just gonna lightly even up my skin tone i never realized how difficult it is for um how i say beauty bloggers and vloggers and youtubers to be able to talk and do their makeup at the same time I thought it'd be a lot easier but right now my mind is kind of just shooting blanks as to what 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 I should speak about <laughs> how's everyone doing while in isolation for me um, I've been doing okay uh, I've I thought that being inside for so long I would get a bit more antsy than I am. 
I mean, I'm not an extrovert by any means. I'm actually quite more on the introverted side. Um, but I do like to like go out and you know um, hang out with my friends, go to restaurants, and just window shopping. Like I love window shopping. I I won't buy things my stays, but I just like to go inside a shop and see what they have. Window shopping is my cardio. It's pretty much been almost two months since um, my workplace has transitioned from working in the office to fully working from home. Uh, it would be about, I would say, 10 weeks or so at this stage. And we are planning to go back to work if government willing and God willing in about six more weeks. And I'm, I'm not doing too bad. Uh, I get to stay home. I get to work in my pajamas. I get home cooked meals for mum all the time. So in a way, it's been good and good and bad. Like I really do miss seeing my colleagues and the banter that we have at work because the team that I work with, um, we get along really well. Everyone in the group just contributes to the banter and we bounce off each other really well. That is probably the main thing that I miss. I do miss seeing everyone around the office and just being able to socialize. So in isolation, um, I've been, I haven't been following a lot of the um, ISO trends to be honest, like um, jigsaw puzzles or baking. Um, one, because my house, we don't really have like enough space. Um, and then the I, the ISO baking, I, I don't, <laughs> not that I can't cook, I don't cook, but in terms of baking, I don't have a sweet tooth. No one in my family has a sweet tooth either. So even if we were to bake, like a pie or banana bread or you know, whatever people make cookies or whatever it won't really get eaten so I feel like it's just a waste of flour and eggs and money and time essentially because no, no one in our family likes sweet things enough for us to be constantly baking. Base is finally done I feel like I've been pounding my face for forever um so i'm gonna move on to concealer and for concealer i like to use two kinds of concealers uh, i like to use the uh, Too faced multi-use sculpting concealer this is in the shade snow which is quite fair and then i also like to use the uh, maybelline instant age rewind this is in the shade also it's called light um so what i like to do is pop the lighter color closest to my eye here and then put the slightly darker shade towards the bottom so that it blends out a bit nicer because I have tried just using um, the Too Faced concealer and then when I go out especially in like really bad fluorescent public bath bathroom lighting I look like I just have that white triangle underneath my eyes and I look like horrendous I look like one of those um 2000s car a red carpet makeup fails that celebrities have had where like they've had um powder done like really bad so to avoid that I've been using this two concealer trick for a while and I bought I had that concealer for I would say at least a year and a bit and it's still going so strong. So now that concealer is done, I'm going to set my face. Um, I do some light baking around my, that's the only form of baking I do, some light baking around my eyes with this um, Nikia Joy Cosmetics Translucent Powder. The <laughs> Oh, I just ate powder. <coughs> I just ate the powder. Just gonna use a Real Techniques blush brush. Just a lightly powder 
of the rest of my face. I'm gonna move on to eyebrows. I have a tendency to go quite um, hard on my brows. I'm gonna try and make them a bit more natural. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't know if you can see, but there is a bold spot on my brow. Not because my hair doesn't grow there, but because when I had chicken pox when I was younger, it happened to leave a scar there. So now whenever I do my eyebrow, there's always a little bald spot there. I'm just going to um, thicken them up a little bit with this um, L'Oreal Brow Artist Sculpt. I feel like that already makes a difference. Is it just me or was one brow darker than the other one? I feel like it's the lighting. Okay. Moving on, I am going to take my NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. Alright, now that my eyelids are prepped, I'm gonna go on to eyeshadow. Because I wanted to do something that was on the warmer side, a bit more on the orangey side, uh, I'm gonna use shadows from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I'm trying to decide whether I wanna go matte or if I still wanna shimmer. I think I'll try an all matte today. And I'm going to take the shade uh, Orange Soda, right there. I'm gonna take that shade the brush, tap off the excess, and just start working, working the colour on my outer crease. So I'm just going to work this colour in as a crease colour. Softly so that I don't get any harsh edges. Also, my sister used this brush before me, and even though I put burnt orange in its come out super bright and I look like a crazy woman. But we'll work with it, we'll work with it. This is a lot brighter than what I was going for. So here in Sydney, um, Sydney, Australia, the government has started to implement a three phase approach to easing lockdowns and we are currently in phase one and you're allowed to have uh, I think five people over at um, like you're allowed to visit people in a group of five and if it's an outdoor area you can visit them in a group of ten and it's come at a good time because my friend's 24th birthday his birthday is actually next week. So we we thought that we probably wouldn't be able to celebrate his birthday with him. But now that the restrictions have lifted, it looks like we will be able to, which is really exciting because uh, I haven't seen my friends all together in about like four, two months. I'm just gonna um, sweep a bit of orange soda on the bottom lash line. The last time, I was out with my friends, uh, we went to Newcastle which is about like a couple hours drive um, up from Sydney and we went to Newcastle uh, as like a birthday celebration thing for me, uh, we wanted to do a weekend getaway, not anywhere far just somewhere a bit local and we went to Newcastle. And we stayed in this house, an Airbnb that was actually kind of creepy because um, the homeowners were um, carnival people. Like they had um, carnival trucks and trailers in front of their house. And we almost missed it because we were like, no way that this ha there's a house behind all these trailers, but there it was. And then across the road from that house, is a super decrepit house. Literally, that house from the movie It, where they go in and find It, it looked like that. 
it was blackened wood uh, it was falling apart and it looked so creepy I, I probably only briefly looked at that house for like two seconds twice and I still remember it in my head because it was just so creepy so I mean that was a unique experience in itself I'm not, I'm not saying that you know carnival people are weird but the vibe in that house regardless of the carnival thing because there was no carnival themed um, like ornaments or anything in that house but just that the vibe that that house gave was it, it would send chills down your spine unfortunately the weekend that we went up the weather wasn't that great so we weren't able to um, go like to the beach or anything like that but we did go four wheel um, quad biking and it was so windy and it started raining as well so then by the time we got to um, ride on the big quad bikes my gosh rain sand was pelting against our faces and it it burned but it was really fun I really enjoyed it um, quad biking is kind of scary because everyone always tells you because whenever I told anyone that I was going quad biking they were like oh my gosh aren't you scared it's gonna topple over and I was like no I am now I wasn't worried about toppling over or anything because I was probably gonna go like, vroom, vroom, like very slow driving Miss Daisy but like now that you put it in my head yeah I'm scared now thanks so I'm gonna put um, a brown eyeliner um, this is from a Japanese brand called Dolly Wink Yeah, definitely, I think that definitely makes it look a little bit better. <sighs> I always say I'm gonna go natural. It never happens. It just never happens. Anyway, so I'm pretty much done for the eyes. I like to do mascara um, last, like after I do my face because I like to let the, the, um, uh, the eyeliner dry a little bit first. So I'm going to use my bronzer, which <laughs> God. Going to use my bronzer from Too Faced. It's the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer in the shade, I think it's just a normal one called Chocolate. I just have to use a very light hand because with bronzer and cheek products, I tend to have a heavier hand and look like I kind of just went So, let's see if I can keep at least this part of my face natural. sweep upwards from the hollows of my cheek because I don't want to bring that shade down I want to create that shadow not hide this part but to hide, just create a little bit more of a chisel Ooh. are you seeing this are you seeing this because I am here a little bit as well hide that little little double chin although I don't mind my double chin I've had it for most of my life let's be real um, so it's kind of just been like a second companion I'm gonna be doing blush and because I wanted to keep this look on the orange side I going to use the Sugar Peach um, Face and Eye Palette by Too Faced and I'm going to take this shade here which is called Sugar to Peach. I'm just going to do very, very light dusting of this um, because it, it was quite pigmented when I swatched it so I don't know if it's going to show up that way on my face. Yeah, I think I I definitely went too heavy-handed on the blush, but you know. Going to highlight using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. I'm oh, sorry, the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill collab in the shade uh, Champagne Pop. 
I'm gonna bring it up to just below my brow so it's like a C shape. Okay, I'm just gonna grab my L'Oreal Paradise Waterproof Mascara. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this later, honestly. So for lips, I'm going to be using a, a new Colourpop chubby, um, chubby lipstick kind of thing. It's called Just a Tint, and this is in the shade Rise and Shine. Okay, I'm gonna go and brush my um, curls out. Oh, they've actually. So I did that overnight um, heatless wave tutorial thing that's kind of been all the rage and when I first take it out it looks quite crazy um, like it looks really tight and it looks all like comfy but now that it's been out for a couple of hours it looks really nice anyway I'll get changed I'll be right back hi and this is the finished look uh, I'm actually quite happy with this. The orange has turned out really nice and it actually shows up quite well on camera. So I've been pleasantly surprised with the results. I hope you listen up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed just sitting with me, getting ready with me, having me on in the background, wherever you're watching this. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to see more. And that's it. That's me signing out. First video done. Yay! <laughs> Bye.